You Will Be Safe Here by Damien Barr, published by Bloomsbury Publishing. And this is a novel that is set both in 1901, so during the Second World War, and in present day. The novel is divided into different sections and obviously there are some different timelines. And as it opens, we have a short chapter where we're introduced to Willem. Willem is a 16 year old young man who is being taken to a safari camp and it feels like a correction safari camp. He is um, a sensitive soul. He has a pug, Brittany, he'd much rather be at home with them, you know, doing his own thing. But mum and her boyfriend Jan, who seems like a really hard-nosed type, decide that they want to take him there and to change his character, to get him to somehow man up and be, you know, a proper man of the felt. And, you know, that is not him. Following on from that, we get to meet Sarah van der Vat, and she is writing her own diary of her experiences in the Boer War, so this is early 1900s, and she is living in her home, and she has a son, and the English colonialists are coming, and they have implemented um, a policy of scorched earth, which means basically ruining, uh, destroying homesteads and everything. Um, you know, slaughtering the cattle um, and basically making it so that people cannot survive. They are then taken, transported to concentration camps where they have terrible experiences. I mean, it's a very, very cruel place. It's insanitary, uh, there's torture, um, there's illness and, you know, there's hardly anything to eat. And this is what the British in part were doing at that point of time. As the story progresses we naturally uh, discover how Willem's story and Sarah's story dovetail in the end. I think what the author is doing in some way is looking back and redressing the imbalance of what has been learned in history about things like the Boer War, um, things about British colonialism. Um, I certainly learnt at school about the Boer War. I remember Mafeking, I remember um, the relief of Lady Smith, obviously that always used to draw a titter. And somehow it is, you know, it was about the British and, you know, how they ruled and it was all kind of okay. And that balance is now being shifted so the full picture is being exposed for people to really understand what happened. I think what the author is doing, he's obviously creating a balanced view um, or trying to redress the balance of what we have learned to date about what really went on um, during times of colonialism and the cruelty that was meted out then comes forward to present day and you know there is a legacy and we see it in someone like Willem who is being conditioned and molded into someone um, that he really isn't and you know the stiff upper lip is still around you know um, he's got to be manly whatever that means so I think if you want um, an interesting overview of South Africa, you know, it's had its really troubled political times to present day and, you know, it still is. Um, then I think picking up a copy of You Will Be Safe Here by Damien Barr will give you an overview. It'll give you a little bit of a feel for South Africa. Um, and I think it makes for an interesting 